In this video, we're going to be taking a look at reaction mechanisms and how they relate to potential energy diagrams. I've given us an overall reaction of ozone breaking down into oxygen gas after interacting with nitrogen air pollution. A reaction mechanism is the step-by-step -step process describing how an overall reaction takes place. Our overall reaction just shows the ozone and the oxygen whereas our mechanism shows all of these other species that are involved in the reaction. An elementary step is one step in an overall mechanism. You can see that our mechanism has three elementary steps. These have a direct bearing on what we see in a potential energy diagram for a reaction. A potential energy diagram has a vertical axis of energy so the higher you are on this axis, the higher in energy the system is at that point in time. And our horizontal axis is reaction process, progress. This is our transition from reactants on the left to products on the right. And we use this to track how the energy of the system is changing moment to moment. Now for this given reaction mechanism, the potential energy diagram might look something like this. So let's take a look at how this structure in this potential energy diagram relates to this mechanism. A transition state occurs at the top of the activation energy barrier. You can see that we have our reactants going up to a transition state. The activation energy is that difference in energy between the reactants and the transition state. We're going to have one of these transition states for every elementary step in our mechanism. You can see we have three steps. We have three transition states. At each of these transition states, the molecules are taking on a configuration called the activated complex. This is the arrangement of those atoms at that particular transition state. It's neither reactant nor product, but a kind of in-between structure where there are bonds that are simultaneously being broken and formed. Let's take a look at our reaction mechanism and look at it at a particulate level. What's happening with these atoms? We're going to begin with a molecule of ozone that's going to now interact with a molecule of NO. An oxygen atom is going to transfer over to the NO, making O2 and NO2. This NO2 molecule is going to react in the second elementary step. That means it's an intermediate species. These are species that are first produced and then consumed in a mechanism. So let's take a look at that second step. The NO2 is going to lose an oxygen atom, forming NO and monatomic oxygen. That monatomic oxygen is also an intermediate in this mechanism. Finally, in step three, the monatomic oxygen is going to take an oxygen atom from the, another molecule of ozone to make two oxygen molecules. Take note that our NO molecule is back, even though it participated in the reaction. This makes it a catalyst. Catalysts are species that are first consumed, then produced in a mechanism, and we see that. Our NO is consumed in step one, and then produced in step two. Catalysts make reactions go faster by adding an elementary step with a reduced activation energy barrier. Uh, neither catalysts nor intermediates appear in overall chemical equations, and you see this here. Our catalyst, NO, and our intermediates, NO2 and O, don't show up in that overall reaction uh, equation of ozone becoming oxygen. Let's take this reaction and map it onto the potential energy diagram step by step. So I have given you our mechanism down here in the corner for reference, and we're beginning on the left side of our potential energy diagram with two molecules of ozone. First, one molecule of ozone will interact with our NO, forming our first activated complex. You can see here a dashed line representing the bond that is forming between the oxygen and the nitrogen. Those will then react, forming a molecule of oxygen and a molecule of NO2. This is our first intermediate point. So the peaks on a potential energy diagram are transition states with activated complexes, and the valleys are intermediates. 
we can move on to our next activated complex, the NO losing an, the NO2 losing an oxygen atom, forming our second intermediate. Finally, that monatomic oxygen will form a final activated complex with the other molecule of ozone, and that gets us to our, re, our products, three oxygen molecules. We can map these things onto our mechanism as well. I've put the intermediate yellow boxes around our intermediates, and you can see that each one is produced, then consumed. And we can also label our catalyst. Our catalyst is consumed, then produced. So there you go. Whenever you're looking at a reaction mechanism or a potential energy diagram, you can tell a lot about what the other one ought to look like. So remember that a potential energy diagram needs to have a transition state for every single elementary step. And we can even figure out which of these might be our rate determining step. But that's a topic for another video.